I'm Debbie Thompson. I am the Executive Director for the Greater Victoria Coalition to End Homelessness. The project that you've described, the documentary project, sounds very exciting and timely. We've been hearing about the Coalition doing a couple of cool projects, one being one with photos. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. So before I get into the priorities and the projects, I, I want to emphasize what the Coalition is because we often get questions about that. Thank you. The Coalition is an organization that's fairly new, started in 2008, February 2008, and the Coalition was formed because there was a, a need to have one coordinated, coordinating body in the region, coordinating the action and the response to homelessness. And so the coalition really is a partnership of a number of bodies, service organizations, funders, uh, government, all levels of government, the faith community, uh, the business sector, etc. And essentially, we are all working together to create housing, supported housing, for people who are homeless and at risk of homelessness. Cool, so that'd be the hard to house. We often hear that term, hard to house. Yeah, absolutely. I think though it's important to talk about what homelessness means and the different types of homelessness because I, I, I often ask when people talk about things like affordable housing, what does that mean and which group of people are you talking about? Because affordable means different things for different groups of people. There are different types of homelessness, different expressions of homelessness. The bottom line is homelessness is part of a larger issue and the issue is poverty in our community. And so you asked the question about what uh, chronic, you, was it chronic homeless or? Uh, yeah, the, what, what, no that's okay, the, there, there does seem to be some chronic homelessness going on, <laughs> but uh, what the, the, the documentary is asking everybody as we go along is what do you see the state of homelessness being here in Victoria? What is the state of the homeless? Scary. It's a scary state, not only in Victoria and across the, this region and in the province, but I would suggest across the country. And I'm new to Victoria, been here for six months, and I grew up in Toronto, and I've seen, I've seen the challenges that people who are poor, people who can't afford the basic necessities like housing, people who struggle with food insecurity, I've seen that in Toronto and certainly am seeing it here as well. So the state of homelessness is very scary. Um, and for me, what that means is that we need a response. We need leadership around a national response to this problem. We now realize that prevention is a very important part of the puzzle. Preventing people from that downward spiral into homelessness. The visibility of homelessness has certainly increased in this community. Um, it is not, you know, 10 years ago, you certainly would not have seen so many people literally roofless, houseless, sleeping on a boulevard or sleeping in a park. And so what that again suggests to me is that we need to harness the support from the broader community. And we've seen and heard from members of our broader community that they are interested in being part of the solution. They're interested in action. And so now the question for us is, how do we respond? How do we, how do we take up their offer to be part of the solution? And uh, we organized a really exciting event um, during Homelessness Action Week, Project Connect, in partnership with one of our partners, Our Place. And it was such an amazing project and such an amazing experience for me because we saw a true example of community giving. Over 100 volunteers came out to volunteer their services uh, to help organize the event. We had many, many service providers who came out to deliver services to over 600 people that actually accessed um, services and came out to celebrate at Project Connect. We distributed 
tote bags with some key items that again, we take for granted, I take for granted. Items such as hats, scarves, socks, toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant. And I heard from some of the people who were experiencing poverty who were there to access the services and to get the bags that this was an amazing experience for them and they need more of this. This should not happen once per year, but it should be something that happens all the time. So there is a sense of excitement and there's a sense of momentum because the community is saying they want a response, they want to see action. One of our other partners, the Victoria Foundation, recently put out a vital signs report. 47% of the people that they surveyed reported that housing, homelessness, addiction and mental health issues, those were top areas of concern. And we're not talking about people just in Victoria, we're talking about people across this region. And so again, the question is, if not now, when? So the coalition, again, is a group of organizations, individuals, working together to inform the response to homelessness in the region. And I mentioned Project Connect. We're still on a high from that event. We're exploring the possibilities of having a Coalition Connect, a follow-up to Project Connect in the spring. We're also working on a number of other priorities, such as community engagement. And for us, that means engaging, finding ways to engage with every community group, every individual, young and old across the CRD. It involves engaging with the other municipalities. It involves engaging with advocacy groups and anti-poverty groups because we recognize that we absolutely must start talking to each other and eliminate silos because we are all committed to the end result, which is to improve the quality of, of life for every citizen in the community, thereby eliminating homelessness. So community engagement is something that I think will inform and will be part of every single activity that the coalition does going forward. We also have communications as, a, as an important priority because we often get questions from people about the coalition. What is the coalition? What is it that they do? What does it mean? Who's part of the coalition? How do we get involved with the coalition? And so that suggests that we need to do a much more deliberate uh, job of getting information out to the community in non-traditional ways. And so we are using social media tools. Facebook, Twitter, our website as a vehicle for connecting, for engaging, and generating excitement and response about this issue in the broader community. Do you want to just say your website now? Absolutely. And if you're interested in checking out our website, please check us out at www.solvehomelessness.ca. We welcome your participation. Um, I, I so, want to thank you for coming to the Committee to End Homelessness. Uh, the Committee to End Homelessness has been about three years. Uh, you came to a meeting last Wednesday. It's really great uh, that you're talking even in the video about wanting to connect more with other groups because mm -hmm. that's what we've been doing.